This is an example showing how we can use classical conditioning to treat nocturnal enuresis. Nocturnal enuresis is the fancy word for bedwetting. Um, what we do with the, we're going to use the example of a child, a child who is a bedwetter, and this is of course a child who is consistently wetting the bed. This is not a two or three year old who, who is wetting the bed. Um, we're, we're starting to be concerned, let's say, about our six and seven year old child who is still wetting the bed every night. It is a maturity thing. It's not a, I'm drinking too many liquids before I go to bed or I'm being a lazy kid. It's a brain maturity thing. The brain um, secretes a hormone that tells us, those of us who don't wet the bed, it tells us um, at nighttime to decrease urine output. Well, these children, their brain is, um, it's not secreting that mess or it's not sending that message to um, cease urine production and output at night. So we want to retrain the body um, to be able to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, fit the child with a nocturnal enuresis alarm. That alarm, you pin it to the child's pajamas up at the top, and then it has a little sensor that you um, pin in their underwear where, um, that, where the monitor will sense moisture. And at the first time that it senses moisture, a really loud alarm sound goes off. And of course, that causes the child to wake up. The reason that is the unconditioned stimulus and unconditioned response is no one had to teach this child when this alarm goes off, you wake up. It is loud. It causes the child to unconditionally respond to wake up. Well, when we pair that with the sensation of a full bladder, because when the, full, the bladder is full and out comes urine, the alarm goes off. And, of course, then the child wakes up. So what we do is we pair this together every time at night when the child is sleeping. We have them sleep with this alarm um, monitor. Every time there's moisture, the alarm goes off. So the sensation of the full bladder, also moisture coming from the bladder being urine output. Um, so we pair this together enough times, and um, research shows that with continual, consistent um, working with with the nocturnal enuresis monitor that there is a good outcome. Um, we've had a personal experience in our family using it and it took two weeks. We had one of our children who was six years old who consistently wet the bed every night. Um, we called them bedwetting, um, bedwetters, but of course, you know, now we have pull-ups and uh, not good night diaper type things for older kids, so um, you don't necessarily hear kids referred to as bedwetters anymore. But um, we did this, and it took two two weeks of consistent usage um, to retrain her brain and her bladder and her body to wake up, and um, she no longer suffers from nocturnal enuresis. So uh, intervention can um, it behavior modification intervention is number one before you would want to try something like medications um, with a child because this classical conditioning example um, is very, very effective.